Zebra grooming, the intimate bonds of the herd. The touch of connection. We see them as a sea of stripes, a dynamic force moving across the African plains. But within the vastness of the zebra herd lies a world of intimate connection, a world where touch plays a vital role. Today, we're focusing on a behavior that's as essential as it is endearing. Mutual grooming or aloe grooming. This isn't just about keeping clean. It's a complex social ritual, a foundation of trust, and a key to the overall health and well-being of the zebra community. Prepare to witness the tenderness, the science, and the profound significance of touch in the lives of these iconic animals. The mechanics of mutual grooming, a symphony of teeth and lips. The act of mutual grooming in zebras is a carefully orchestrated dance of teeth and lips a delicate yet effective method of removing unwanted guests and strengthening their bonds. They use their incisors, those front teeth, to gently nibble and scrape at the skin and fur of their companions, removing parasites, dirt, and loose hair. Their lips, surprisingly sensitive, also play a role, providing gentle pressure and aiding in the removal of debris. It's a meticulous process, often focused on areas that are difficult for an individual to reach on their own. The neck, the shoulders, the withers, the ridge between the shoulder blades, and the back. It's a system of mutual care and attention, where each zebra plays a part in the well-being of the herd. Strengthening social bonds. The glue of the herd. While hygiene is a major benefit, Mutual grooming is far more than just a cleaning session. It is the very foundation of their social fabric. This intimate act strengthens the bonds between zebras, reinforcing social connections and creating a sense of unity within the herd. It's a way of showing affection, of building trust, and of solidifying their place within the social structure. Think of it as a form of nonverbal communication, a way of saying, I care for you, I value you, and you are a part of my community. Research has shown that zebras who engage in frequent mutual grooming tend to have stronger social ties and experience less stress overall. Reducing tension and stress, the calming touch. Beyond strengthening bonds, mutual grooming also serves as a powerful stress reliever. After a tense encounter with a predator or even a minor disagreement within the herd, the act of grooming can have a profoundly calming effect. Studies have shown that allogrooming can actually lower cortisol levels, the hormone associated with stress, in both the giver and the receiver. It's like a natural therapy session, helping to restore a sense of peace and equilibrium within the group. The gentle touch, the rhythmic movements, all contribute to a sense of security and well-being. The physiological benefits beyond the surface. The benefits of mutual grooming extend far beyond the social and emotional realms, and it has also been found to provide some real and tangible health benefits. The act of grooming stimulates blood circulation in the skin, promoting healthy tissue growth and improving the overall condition of the coat. It can also trigger the release of endorphins, natural pain relievers, and mood boosters, further enhancing the sense of well-being. It's like a natural spa treatment, promoting both physical and mental health, and it's one that they give each other every day, ensuring the continued strength of the group. Parasite removal, a shared responsibility for health. Of course, let's not forget the very practical and incredibly important benefit of removing parasites. Ticks, lice, and other external parasites are a constant threat in the savanna, carrying diseases and causing irritation. Mutual grooming is a highly effective way to combat these pests, with zebras working together to remove them from each other's coats. It's a shared responsibility, a collective effort to maintain the overall health and hygiene of the herd. It's about more than just looking good. It's about preventing illness and ensuring everyone stays strong and healthy. 
Who grooms whom? Deciphering social dynamics. The patterns of mutual grooming can often reveal fascinating insights into the social dynamics of the herd. It's not just a random action, it's a carefully orchestrated ritual. Mothers, of course, meticulously groom their foals, strengthening their bond and ensuring the health of their offspring. Dominant individuals may receive more grooming than they give, a subtle but clear indication of their status. And sometimes, grooming is simply a reciprocal act of friendship and connection between herd members. By observing who grooms whom and how often, we can begin to decipher the complex social relationships that underpin zebra society. Beyond mutual grooming, self-care is key. While mutual grooming is a crucial social activity, zebras are also meticulous about their own personal hygiene. They'll rub against trees to remove loose hair and parasites, roll in dust baths to absorb excess oil and deter insects, and use their teeth and hooves to clean hard-to-reach areas. It's a testament to their innate understanding of self-care, a recognition that maintaining their own health is essential for their survival and the well-being of the entire herd. A fragile ritual, threats to social harmony. Unfortunately, the delicate rituals of zebra grooming and the social harmony they foster are increasingly threatened by human activities. Habitat loss and fragmentation can separate family units and disrupt social structures. Human interference, such as roads and fences, can limit their ability to move freely and interact with each other. This disruption can lead to increased stress, weaken social bonds, and a greater vulnerability to disease and predators. It's a reminder that even seemingly small acts of interference can have profound consequences for the social fabric of these animals. The power of connection. Mutual grooming in zebras is a powerful testament to the importance of connection, care, and community in the animal kingdom. It's a reminder that even in the harshest of environments, there is room for tenderness, for cooperation, and for the strengthening of bonds. By understanding and appreciating this often overlooked aspect of zebra life, we gain a deeper respect for these magnificent creatures and the intricate social world they inhabit. Their touch, their care, their connection. It's a story of survival, written not just in stripes, but in the gentle act of grooming.